Hello friend, and welcome back to another episode of Mountain with Rob Boss. It's a pleasure to be in your living room once again. Today we're going to be installing an EGMF2 full motion articulating mount. It's so smooth like an eagle soaring over the prairie, and you're going to really enjoy what it brings to your living room. Now, we got a beautiful Betty White colored canvas behind us, 95 inches by 105 inches, that's ready to be worked on. So gather up your woodland friends and let's get to it. Follow me, huh? Let's take a look inside the box while our graphics man shows you what you need to use across the bottom of the screen. Oh, look at this. X marks the spot for a wonderful time. With so much included hardware, it's sure to fit every TV. But you might ask, what am I to do with the extra hardware? Well. You can use it for your next project, say uh, building a hotel for a squirrel. Don't worry, little rascals, I'll leave the light on for you. Just like people, not all TVs are created equal. If you've got a curved back or maybe some strange screw holes, you might need to use some spacious, but don't worry, it's all in the bag. Just play around a bit, find what works for you. For me, it's this nice, long, thick screw. Just gonna put it right on there. You're just gonna wanna use a screwdriver. Take life easy and just screw it right in. It's like a nice Sunday stroll through a shady forest. Tighten it right up. You know, just think hugs, not drugs. Ready to have some fun? Let's find where to drill in the wall. Now, you're the creator. It's your world. You get to choose where the TV goes on the wall. Follow me as we decide where to play. To mark our studs, we're gonna be using a nice phalo blue, a beautiful hue. Just load up that brush real nice. And now let's find our stud. Oh, there's the center. Let's mark it with a little phalo blue. There's the center and each edge. Just play around on the canvas. Time for a little excitement. Wowee. Now add the template to the wall so you know exactly where to drill to avoid a happy little mistake. Before you tape it down, take just a quick second, a whisper of a second to make sure it's level. A lot of times people come up to me and say, Rob, I just don't have the talent to do what you're doing. And that's baloney. You can do it. Now, let me introduce you to my friend, the wall plate. We're going to attach them to the wall with these light bolts. Follow me. Time to bring this rascal home. Use your friend the ratchet to finish the job. You'll notice it sounds exactly like a family of chipmunks. Everyone makes a mistake here and there. That's why there's a little extra wiggle room on the bottom so you can get perfectly level to your delight. Let's level it out before we finish driving in the bottom leg. We're going for a beautiful finished product. Look at this excellent wall plate cover. Someone sure had fun making that, huh? <laughs> Just clip it right in. Boy, was that nice. Now that we've done admired our lovely wall plate, it's time to add these extender brackets so you can attach the TV right to it. Now, the trick is you're gonna wanna remove these end caps, just one, to slide it through like a rabbit. Open up the safety lock like you open yourself up to nature. <laughs> At least I do. With this beautiful single stud full motion mount, it's about as smooth as a baby fox's newborn fur. You point the TV wherever you like. However, every TV is special and different, so there are a plethora of adjustments you can make. Let's show them to you before we put that big old honk of TV in the way. Use this silver screw right here, this beautiful silver fox, to level your screen even after you installed it. If life's getting a little hectic and your screen is just floating side to side when you're swiveling it, no worries. Peek down the top for a nice screw. If your TV's just too heavy and you find the arm swinging even more, 
this little guy or a little friend right here, we can tighten that up and everyone will be happy. Using these screws will really keep your TV silky smooth, like a family of spiders sat on it, but yet it won't drift. Speaking of drifters, let me introduce my son, Steve. He'll be here to lend a helping hand with getting the TV on the wall, because every now and then you need a helping hand. Isn't that right, Steve? Boy, what a rascal. Let's get to it. We're gonna let Steve attach these safety screws to keep your TV nice and snug. He does great work with a screwdriver. <laughs> Just ask that skier up in Denver. We won't talk about that anymore. <laughs> Ready for a secret? This arm has cable management built right in. You can just slide your cables right through to keep them out of the way. If the cables need a little extra help being wrangled, use these included clips to attach them right to the post. If you decide to not use them for your cables, you can seal off a bag of Gardettos to keep it fresh or try to attract some crabs. All right, friends, I want to thank you again for joining us on this amazing adventure, hanging this EGMF2 full motion TV wild mount. On behalf of me and my son, Steve, thank you so much for stopping by. See you next time. Bye now.